morning everyone welcome to Ritam English I am Pradosh Sharma and you are watching News Flash A scuffle erupted at Jamia Millia Islamia in Delhi during Diwali celebrations after two groups clashed leading to police deployment video suggests slogans like Palestine Zindabad were chanted disrupting the festivities Cyclone Dana is expected to hit between Bindarganiga National Park and Dabra Port in Odisha on Friday. Trains have been cancelled and educational institutions shut as Odisha and West Bengal brace for the storm. Despite stringent rules, Punjab and Haryana notched over 1800 trouble burning cases, worsening air quality. The Supreme Court summoned the chief secretaries of both states to explain their lack of action. A terrorist attack outside the Turkish Aerospace Industries headquarters in Ankara left four dead and 14 injured. Two shooters were neutralized and SWAT teams were deployed to rescue hostages. The US has demanded meaningful accountability from India regarding an alleged plot to assassinate six separatists. Gurpatwan Singh Panu on US soil, India has denied involvement but launched an investigation. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken urged Israel to seize the moment to end the Gaza conflict after the death of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar and decimation of the group's leadership and infrastructure. PM Modi at the BRICS summit in Kazan stressed that there should be no double standard on terrorism. He called for global cooperation in combating radicalization and terrorism financing. Canadian PM Justin Trudeau faces pressure from his party as 30 liberal MPs call for him to step down. The issue is expected to be raised during the upcoming Liberal Caucus meeting. Railway accidents per million train kilometers have decreased, officials told a parliamentary committee. MPs inquired about recent accidents and steps taken to further enhance railway safety. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi filed her nomination for the Vinod by poll accompanied by senior Congress leader. She also held the road show ahead of the November 13th election. In a landmark 8-1 ruling, the Supreme Court ruled that states have the authority to regulate the production and supply of industrial alcohol, overturning a 1997 verdict favoring the central government. India advocated for the multipolar world at the BRICS summit in Kazan with MEA spokesperson sharing a photo of the expanded BRICS leaders emphasizing unity against western dominance. India is pressing for the extradition of Canada based terrorists with specific FIRs. Dossiers will be shared with the US, Canada, Australia and UK to highlight terrorist activities linked to Canada. Canadian PM Trudeau acknowledged before a commission that Canada lacks concrete evidence against India in the assassination of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar, relying only on intelligent inputs. PM Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping met after five years to resolve the India-China border standoff. PM Modi stressed mutual respect and welcomed the agreement for disengagement in the disputed LSE area. UK PM Keir Starmer downplayed accusation of foreign interference after Labour Party workers campaigned in the US for Kamala Harris. This followed criticism from Donald Trump on Labour's involvement in the US politics. So that's all for the headlines of the day. For more updates, download the app and keep watching with them.